Morning. How about we make some omelets on your griddle to turn your backyard into a diner, huh? Let's do this. Ah. So when I worked at Bob Evans, sometimes we'd have eight, 10, even a dozen omelets on the flat top or the griddle all at once, which was like insane. There's a lot of going on, people yelling at each other, busy Sunday morning, church crowd, all that stuff. But we're not gonna do that today. Today, we're just gonna give you six ideas of what you can make on your griddle at home. The one thing I wanna go over here real quick to make sure you know is temperature, temperature, temperature. Always do your eggs between 300 and 325, especially omelets, I mean, if you do other eggs higher, it's still not good, but you can flip them or pull them off the griddle quickly. But omelets, they're so big, you need everything to slowly set up so that then you can flip it or fold it without, you know, or else the bottom is gonna get real burnt before the top and the insides cook. So I mean, with omelets, you absolutely, it's, it's a no deal breaker. It's gotta be 300 to 325. Also, you can use a dome to help kinda help the cooking process along with the ones in the egg ring. I'm gonna show you them just flat diner style omelet, like pouring it on there, and I'm gonna do a couple in an egg ring, and I'll explain both between the diner style and the egg ring, so you know the difference between the two and how I do each one. Let's check out the recipes. Starting off here with our egg ring omelet. This is bacon bits, bacon pieces going down in there. This is a bacon avocado omelet from my wife. It's her favorite from first watch. That's where the recipe's from. It's not my recipe, I stole it. So look, I'm letting the bacon get up there, adding some oil to it, because the bacon grease is good, but it's not enough. You need more oil, especially for these Cuisinart egg rings. The best thing is do this and to get pan spray, because um, the eggs will stick to the side. So I just use some oil in a bottle and bacon grease, but pan spray is the best. Here goes my eggs, slowly pouring them in there. Here's why, I'll show you an old one where they came out the bottom. Oop, see? Look at that arrow. I did that arrow all by myself. Really proud of that arrow. Anyways, so then you just slowly pour them. They still might come out. That's okay. But you want to really make sure you pour them slow and then they don't kind of slide under the egg ring like that. Also, you need to let them set up. If you don't, this is what will happen. You put too much filling in there and you flip them and oh boy, went from an omelet to a scromlet. That's half scrambled eggs, half omelet. Still tastes delicious. Still was good. Just want to show you my mistake there. Happy accidents, no mistakes. Um, but look, to prevent that, you can go ahead and put a dome on it with a little bit of water. Two minutes later, you have an omelet. Also, if you have less filling, like this is just bacon bits. So if you put a bunch of filling in here, you can, but then you really got to let it set up. Like, see, I just have a couple pieces of bacon in there where the other one had a ton of peppers, onions, and ham. So flipped over real easy, turned out great. I'm adding some pepper jack cheese in there just to make this nice and cheesy on the inside, keep my wife happy. A little bit more cheese, fold it over, make sure it looks pretty, salt and pepper. You could have done this earlier, I just did it at the end, doesn't matter, whatever floats your boat, I don't care when you put it in there. Oh, more cheese? That's right, more cheese. Husband of the year, double cheese, bacon omelet. What else could you ask for, huh? You gotta melt the cheese on top though, folks. That's where people get lazy. Don't, don't get lazy, melt that cheese on top. More bacon, sliced up avocado. I don't know where you apply for husband of the year, but like I said, I'd like to just throw my hat in the ring, just see how it turns out. Okay, so this one's gonna be a diner style omelet. I know the egg ring is in the back, ignore that. Another tip with those egg rings is to preheat them. That's what I was doing there, is preheating that egg ring for my wife. But this is just your Western omelet. Ham, peppers, onions, a little salt and pepper in there. Classic diner Western omelet, okay? So you're gonna start this by sauteing all your veggies. Just like I started the other one with my pieces of bacon. You know, you gotta get this all done. Your eggs are going down last. So my veggies have cooked up a little bit. I gotta get plenty of room onto my griddle and a bunch of oil, cause we're just gonna let these spread way, way out. We're not using the ring, you know, we're just letting this spread all the way out. So the oil's down, spread around. Then we're also gonna add some butter just a little pad of butter there. It's not tip number four. This is an old video that I'm using for reference, so ignore the tips, even though I am giving you the tips, but ignore, the, don't ignore the tips, use the tips. I'll stop, just ignore that thing on the screen. So anyways, here comes the eggs, and again, slowly pouring them so they don't go all over the griddle, 
but there is no ring this time. I'm just kind of let them spread out. Slowly pour your eggs. Oh, we're on a tip number five. So they are going to go all over the griddle, but if you just go crazy with it, they're going to go down in your grease catch, and then you don't want that. So kind of got this big blob of egg, and you're like, how is this going to become an omelet? What's going on here? This is a lot, Johnny. Just hang in there. Hold yourself for just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and let it spread out, let it keep cooking, and I promise you we'll make it into an omelet, okay? I promise. Just you let it spread out. We're going to add the cheese. It's still a little wet on top. You're like, man, that egg's not setting up. Is that going to cook? Yeah, it's going to cook with the residual heat. Trust me, it will because there's eggs. Then we're putting the hot filling in there. We're putting all of our inside omelet filling in there, and then we're going to fold from the bottom and then the top just kind of square this thing off rectangular it off a little bit and as we fold it over all this heat is going to continue to cook the little bit of eggs that are left over between the filling and the eggs that were ro rolling over on themselves and uh oh gets a little hairy here oh no oh it ripped on the top that's okay it's not perfect you know every omelet isn't going to be perfect you got to break a few eggs to make an omelet i know that was a cheesy dad joke but i had to throw it in this video somewhere and just kind of Tighten it all up there, and then what do you do? You cover your mistakes, happy accidents, with cheese. More cheese, right? So I'm just gonna try to cover up all the little holes by putting cheese on top there so that no one will know. What are they gonna be like? Oh, there's too much cheese on here and there's a hole? No, no one's ever complained about more cheese. They're just thankful for all the cheese. Again, melt your cheese, a little bit of water, put the dome down. This is also gonna ensure that the inside of this omelet cooks that was still a little bit wet when we were, you know, flipping it and folding it in. There's your diner style Western omelet. Look at that thing, turned out great. Lots of filling inside, lots of cheese, some little breakfast potatoes with it, delicious. The, here we are back inside for a f little filling or topping for this omelet. That's a pound of sausage, some diced canned potatoes, a red onion. This is my absolute favorite, favorite omelet at Bob Evans when I worked there favorite this is a border scrambler topping is what it was called a little salsa garlic salt going in there with the onions black pepper going in there also there is some salt and then some diced tomatoes are going in there as well we're gonna go ahead and open those bad boys up i don't know why i drained them there really wasn't any juice in there there goes the salsa a little bit of hot sauce this recipe is in my ebook there's a link in the description it's as close as I could remember from Bob's. It's not their exact recipe, but it's very, very good, and I'd highly recommend it. Next, we have our border scrambler mix that I heated back up on the griddle, and then we're gonna do this one inside the egg ring, making sure we're at the right temp, inside the ring again. <clears throat> and again, this one has like no filling in the egg this time, so it's very easy to set up and to get it to cook. There goes our dome. I think we got the process down now. Hopefully you can get this home. Give a little tap, tap, tap a -roo on that egg ring. Separate the egg from the ring. Pull it out. Give it a flip. Oh, that one had a little cut in it. No big deal. More cheese in the middle. Pepper jack cheese. Flip it over. Top this with that border sausage mix. Oh my gosh. And then look, you're going to hit it up with some sour cream and jalapenos. What? This is so good. There's also some green onions on top. Highly recommend giving this omelet a try. All right, so this one's going in the ring again. I didn't have any spray, so I'm using a paper towel and oil, which looks weird because it is weird. The spray would have been a lot easier. Slowly pour the eggs in there. A little bit of chives are going in. Ooh, now look, some came out, not a big deal. Lift it up, throw it over. Go ahead and hit the water. We're kind of using the water in the dome on basically all of these omelets. So you can see sometimes I like to tap those egg rings and pull them a little bit just to get the eggs to separate from the ring. Make sure you keep your spatula clean. You can see we're still around 300 degrees. That's good. And oh, a clean pull. Slide my spatula under each side. Flip. There we go. Then again, this one just had chives in it. That's some cream cheese going in it. This is a little weird. It's a cream cheese and chive omelet. I know it seems strange, but I'm telling you, you gotta try it. It's very, very good. A little more oil going down, and then next we're doing a diner style omelet. 
again you can see same process we're kind of speeding through it now because you've already seen the two ways I don't want to waste your time but just let everything stretch out everything stretch out this is just a three cheese omelet we're doing American cheese some of that hot pepper jack cheese and then we're folding everything over multiple times and I kind of chopped the ends off to make it look prettier than it really was two cheeses shredded cheddar cheese on top that is my three cheese omelet with some extra chives. Very good, would highly recommend that. Finally, we have our hash brown omelet. You've probably seen this video. You've probably seen multiple people do it. It's very popular amongst the griddle community. It was first done by True North Cafe. He has the best video on it and he is the best at doing it. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you just to uh, make sure you know it exists in case you haven't seen that video. Basically, you're spreading your hash browns out real thin, adding butter, adding oil, putting your toppings on the side. So this is the same toppings of kind of a Western ham and pepper and onion, but you're building your omelet in these potatoes. So after like 10 minutes of the potatoes or the hash browns sitting there and the shredded hash browns are getting, you can see they got brown, they got a nice color. You then pour your eggs directly onto said shredded hash browns. So it helps to kind of control them kind of like a mixture between there the egg ring and the diner style so somewhere in the middle then we're doing the same process we're putting our filling in there we're letting everything set up adding our cheese it's going to cook all the way through the residual heat's going to come up and it's going to really you know cook those things a lot and we're going to flip it over so you got these crispy eggy hash brown omelet thing which is just it's 100% worth trying and it might take you a time or two to get it down but once you do get it I promise you it'll be worth it if you want to see another video all about the egg rings I got from Amazon that's on your screen now thanks for watching keep on griddling